Crazy Maisie Creations, how are you? Come on in. Let's pull up the live. All right. How are you guys? Happy Wednesday. It's 9-11, guys. And here in New York and all over the country, I think, it's kind of the same way. But here in New York, it's, you know, a special day. It really, I mean, you can just feel it when you're out and about, you know. Um, what am I doing? I'm pulling up the live. And my May May's here. Hi, baby girl. You want to come say hi to everyone? Come say hi. Say hi. So I was out earlier and um, just trying to find the live here. Here we go. Volume's off. Good. Let's find it here. And uh, I had a couple errands to run. I had to go visit my dad. Because trying to get everything done for tomorrow when I leave in the morning for the wreath gala. Super excited for that. So I wanted to come on today and um, I want to do something patriotic because it is 9-11 and um, I just wanted to, it's my way of, you know, remembering everyone that all the lives that we've lost on that day and days after following, we're still losing lives. Firemen are sick, police officers are sick, all because of 9-11. So we're, con we're still losing people. And it's just my way of just remembering all those people and their families. Right, May May? Right, baby? All right, let's pull up the live. Why is it not coming up? Let's see. Who do we have on here? Hey, Robin. How are you? Hey, Ann. Hey, Dana. Hey, Christine. How are you, girl? All right, if you guys would spread the love, I would appreciate it. I'm going to put her down. There you go, May May. And pull it up here on my iPad. There, I found it. All right, good, now I can see comments. Perfect. Having a sucky day. Sue, why are you having a sucky day? I haven't slept since the night before last. Too upset. Oh, Sue. I Well, I'll keep you in my prayers. I don't know what's the matter, but I'm praying that it gets better for you. From the Caribbean, Dana, where are you in the Caribbean? I know, cutie pie, all right. So let me do a little work, because you know I have to do all this computer crap. I said it crap. Um, before I get going. All right, so now we're gonna spread the love. You're gonna spread the love, I'm gonna spread the love. So let's spread the love together. All right, spread the love. Perfect. All right. Let's post that. Hey, Kathy. How are you? Thank you, Sandra. I appreciate that. Hey, Cindy. Oh, uh, your grandchildren call you May May? Oh, my God. That's so funny. So funny. Oh my goodness, come on. Can you work for me, please? There we go. 
post. This is not the fun part when I have to do this. I wish I could do it before I come live. But I can't. All right. One more place, I think. Nope, not there. We all want oh, right there. Come on, computer. Oh, geez, Louise. There we go. I did it. All right, awesome. That's done. Hey, Ashley, how are you? Thank you for spreading the love. I appreciate it. What is the weather going to be in Rochester tomorrow? I think it's going to be... Well, today was in the 80s here. Now, I'm four and a half hours away from Rochester. I am closer to New York City. I'm 30 miles north of Manhattan. So here today, it's like 80, 81, 82. It just now got a little cloudy. I think we're it's calling for rain, and it's going to be in like the high 70s, low 80s, I think. So what I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring a pair of shorts... I'm going to bring t-shirts, and I'm going to bring some long pants for at night. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Hey, Melody from Clearwater. Oh, my God, I wish I was in Clearwater. My mom and I were just talking about that earlier, how we want to be in Clearwater. All right, guys, let's make a patriotic. Let's remember all our friends and loved ones that we have lost because of this horrible day. Just felt the need to get on here and design something. And not just anything. I want to do patriotic. So I have this frame. And honestly, I don't know where I got this frame from. Oh, there's a tag on here. I don't know. It doesn't say. So I'm going to guess, if I had to guess, it's either Hoblobs. It's either Hoblobs or um, Joanne's. Hey, Shari. How are you? Hey, Liz. Hey, Juanita. Aloha. Are you in Hawaii, girl? God, I wish I was in Hawaii. Hey, Leslie. How are you? Thank you for sharing, Kathy. Hey, Sherry. How are you? Hey, Holly. Hey, Sandra. Hey, Cindy. All right. I was just going back seeing if I missed. I know I missed some people. Hey, Sarah. What's going on, girl? Hey, Tammy Blair, how are you? I hope you're feeling better. All right, so this is what I'm thinking. We're gonna do this frame. I have this left over, Land of the Free. I just thought it was fitting. I might take off this up here, I'm not quite sure yet. This was $12.99, I'm sure I didn't pay that, but that's what it is. And I didn't know how I wanted to go about this. Even though this is on burlap, um, I had some of this left over with this red and white, but I think I'm changing my mind. I don't think I want to use this now. What I am thinking is doing a little red poly jute with a little natural poly jute. And I don't think I'm going to use the sparkle sparkle. I was going to bring sparkle into it, but I don't think I'm going to. Actually, you know what I might do? I don't know what I'm looking at. Because there's a little sparkle up here. We could add... Because I like to mix mediums. I don't know if you guys follow me. Um, but I like to mix... Even though this is burlap, and a lot of people would stay with the burlap look, I like to mix it and put a little sparkle and stuff in it. Um, so, um, that's what I think I might do. I might do poofs with this and then we come back in with the jute and bring it down a little let me just think this through or we could do poofs with this ruffles with this and keep it with the burlap hey pamela hey linda hobby lobby how are you girl 
You're a mess. Well, I'm praying for you, Tammy. I'm constantly thinking of you and praying for you. Went to doctor appointment today and about died when I found out how bad my heart was. But we have a plan now. See, that's important. You have a plan now. That's awesome. All right, let's do... This is my inspiration, so I want to hold this close to me so I can get inspired. Um... Go this way. Staying rustic. That's what I'm doing. All right, so we're going to use this natural poly jute. We're going to do poofs, the 10 inch guys. It's one of my favorite things to do. Okay, and this is a 15 inch frame. Okay, and it's one of those that is raised. It's one of those frames that are that's raised, and I like those instead of the flatter ones. All right. Are we ready? Let's do this. So, we're gonna do poofs. 10 inch mesh poofs. Hey Jeanette, how are you? Yes, gonna stay rustic. Keep it with the burlap. I'm going to Judy. All right, so how is everyone on this Wednesday? Oh, the sun just came out. This weather has been wonky donkey, let me tell you. Nuts. I know you're not used to doing poofs with 10 inch, but listen, I'm not the typical designer. So I just play with things and I figure it out and I make things work for me. And 10 inch mesh is a lot less expensive than 21 inch, unless you're buying the inexpensive stuff. But I like the better quality materials so why not? The mesh just fell into Maisie's bed. That's so funny. Hey, Beverly, how are you? You and so many of wonderful people have inspiration to work hard and get better to be successful. Absolutely. Thank you, Tammy. Hey Monica, how are you? Hey Leslie, I only like to use 10 inch for, I only like to use 10 inch for everything. Yeah, I like 10 inch too. I mean, I use 21 inch, but I'm kind of more towards the 10 inch now. Kind of loving it, to be honest. I've been doing it for about eight months now, six to eight months, doing poofs with the 10 inch and loving it. Love the look of it, love how it's coming out. I just love it. So you guys have craft shows and stuff coming up this weekend? Fall is like literally around the corner. I think it's the 23rd. So everyone is gearing up for those harvest shows. Can I just take this out of Maisie's bed? Okay. I was trying not to let it bother me, but it was bothering me. Um, so, yeah, gearing up for shows. Hey, Teresa, how are you? Love watching you on the big screen TV casting from my iPhone. Oh, my God, I'm on TV. My mom always says to me, are you going on TV today? I'm like, Mom, I don't go on TV. But I guess I am on TV if I'm on your big screen. Oh, my God, that means I look bigger. <gasps> So I have to weigh in. Speaking of looking bigger, I have to weigh in tomorrow. Usually I weigh in on Friday, but since I won't be here and I'm going to the wreath gala, I will uh, be weighing in tomorrow. Hey, Sandra. How are you? Hey, Jacqueline. Well, if you use 10 inch, you can buy more colors and patterns. Yeah. You can. I wonder if my 
probably mom's home. She might be coming home. I'm not sure. Well, that is her. Mom? Hey. Can I borrow you for a few minutes? Oh, Lordy. I'm live. Do you oh. need me? Well, I the blinking lights flashes are on in the car. I can't find how I put them on. She got a new car, and now her house is on. You guys, please give me, like, a two minutes, and I will go help my mom, and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right? Spread the love for me. Go tinkle. Get a snack. Whatever. I'll be right back. Please. Okay. I, I don't know how I... It's okay, Mom. button. I couldn't even find it right away. Okay, I'm so sorry about that, guys. I really, really am. Hey, Sandra. Depending where you buy your mesh, you can get just about any color and size you want. Yes, Jody. They make every kind of mesh you can imagine. Every kind. Ooh, sorry about that. I really am. But Listen, she's going to visit my dad, and, I, and it's about 45 minutes away, and I couldn't have her... Ooh, Mimi, you okay? I couldn't have her driving like that um, up there. Okay. Okay. Whoops. Hey, Rhonda, how are you, girl? You guys, thank you for spreading the love. I appreciate it. I see some people couldn't stick around, but that's okay. My mama comes first, guys. Sorry about that. And I know life happens when you're live, you know what I mean? I don't pretend to be something I'm not. It is what it is, you know? And I take care of my mom, so when she needs something, whether I'm live or I'm in the middle of doing something, I stop everything for her, so I hope you understand. Hey Cheryl, how are you girl? So if you guys see me, I touch my nose. That's me acknowledging members of my private group. I have a private design group and we are called Clubbies. And 
Um, we touch our nose whenever anyone is live, not just me, but anyone of us that are in the group are live. We touch our nose, kind of like the Carol Burnett tugs on her ear for her grandmother. It's kind of the same thing. Um, just showing our love for each other and saying thanks, girl, for supporting me and being here. Appreciate you. No worries, girl. Hey, did I get twisted? I did. I got a little twisted. Better late than never, that's what I say. Same with ribbon attachments as well. Hey, Carol, how are you? Thank you. I try. I really do try to take care of my mom. She doesn't have it easy, especially with my dad being in a facility, you know, so I try to do the best I can for her because it's hard on her, you know. Anything I can do to make her life a little easier because she's worked so hard for me and my brother and sister, you know, to try to give us the best. So I want to do that for her as best as I can. Oh, hey, Maggie. How are you, girl? What's happening? How's Canada? I try, Christy. I try. My bracelet keeps getting caught in that mesh. Okay, so let me pull this out. I'm just going to use this little bit. I was going to cut it off, but... Might as well use it. There's another staple. Right there. Hey, Brenda from North Carolina. So, guys, if you are new to my channel, or my channel, my page, and you want to see more of me, all you have to do is put Live Alert in the comments. And my cabana boy... He will um, send you a message. Once you respond to that message, you'll be on a list that every time I go live, you will get notified. Okay, and I'm just going to tuck this down here. Okay. Oh, uh, you did, Trina. How you feeling, girl? Knee surgery. I've had knee surgery before. No bueno. All right. So we're going to put some more. We're not done because we're going to make this big. It's 9-11. We got to go big or go home. You know what I'm saying? So this is what we have so far. This is going to go thinking in the middle. But I want to put some ruffles in. So we're going to use this red poly jute. Hey, Jean Bunker. How are you, girl? Um, this mesh I got from Sims. I had to think for a moment where I got it from. This uh, natural and ivory. All right. So we're going to cut. How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 18. Okay, there's 18 on there. That there. Let's move this over there. Okay. Now he thinks I might have a pinched nerve in my back causing muscle. Oh boy, Maggie. Need my rotary cutter. You guys like my doodle caddy? My doodles made me this. Love it. We have it on sale in our shop. Love it. You guys are looking for something Great for um, holding your tools nearby, nice size. We have it available. In fact, my uh, soul sister, Doreen, took it to her craft show last week. And I got a couple of sales from quilters. People that are quilters put their quilting tools in there. How fabulous is that? I'm going to cut these 20 inches. Approximately, because you know me, I don't really measure. If you guys would spread the love, I would really appreciate that. Maybe we'll do a giveaway today. If we can get up to 150 people in the clubhouse, maybe we'll give something away today. 
Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Well, I love it because not only is it a doodle caddy that holds all my tools that I need, it's a branding board. So you're getting two in one. Isn't that fabulous? So my website is always here. So when I'm live, you guys can always see my website. Okay. Plus it holds my perfect tails. It holds my scissors, my vinyling tools, pens when I do my billing. I love it. Love, love, love it. Saw your video with the candy cane. That was so genius. Good job. Oh, thanks, Jean Bunker. Jean Bunker is in my private group. She's one of the clubbies. And yesterday in um, our group, I showed them a new way to use the candy cane um, wreath frames that you get from Dollar Tree. But I can't tell you guys that. Sorry. Um, but yeah. How many did I cut? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I think. Ten. Hey, Stephanie, how are you? I got cute one painted like a birdhouse to put mine in. Oh, awesome. Hey, Deborah from South Carolina. How hot is it there? I think it, I think it hit 80s today here. If I'm not mistaken. See, this is why I should be using my mesh roller from Susie Brown. But I just don't feel like getting it out. So I have the um, carousel, the white carousel that Michael sells. I have it over there. But it's so cumbersome and big that it's, I wanted something that was smaller, but yet was a branding board. So I asked my doodles to make me something and look what he came up with and I love it. And a lot of people have been loving it as well. We've sold quite a few of them. Super excited. And you know what? We've sold them to parents that have college students going to college for their desk because it's a great size. All right, let's get these ruffles in. Hey, Nicole, how are you, girl? Love me some Nicole. Cool here today. Broken butt designs. I love that name. Cool here today. They say we're getting snow. Where are you? Snow. That's crazy. Judy, you're at 100 yesterday in Kentucky. Oh my goodness. Doing 100. Now that's too hot for me. Way too hot for me. Help, I'm stuck in the storage room. District. Distract Katie so I can sneak out. I got us a lot of ribbon. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I know, it's hot and humid, Nancy. I'm in New York, so I have that same weather, girl. Hot and humid. All right, so I like that red. Loving that punch of red in there. So we're going to just do that going around. Hello. Hey, Peggy from Jacksonville, Florida. How are you, girl? How are you? Yeah, where is this snow coming from? I mean, I don't understand. Who lives in a climate where it could be snowing right now? Hey, Beth, how are you, girl? Hey, Kim. Thank you guys for coming on my live. I appreciate it. It's 9-11, and living in New York, 
it just hits home because it happened here in our backyard. Well, it happened in a few other places as well, but for me, it's in my backyard here in New York. And I can remember it like it was yesterday, where I was, what I was doing. Um, so I wanted to come on here and do a little something patriotic. And it's my way of remembering my friends and family that we have lost. Oh, I skipped one. It's no bueno. Hey, Karen from Ontario. How are you? Applying to duty. What part of Canada? Oh. Monica, I live in Rockland County. I'm 30 miles north of Manhattan. I'm like 20 minutes away from this city. Are you in New York, Monica? Or are you from Pennsylvania? Where are you? Clancy needs to go potty. You'll do anything. Clancy, where is Clancy? I think he's sleeping. He went potty right before I went live. I always do that. I always take them out right before I go live. So I know that they're good for the next couple hours. Hey, Charlotte, how are you, girl? Hey, Jamie. My buddies are on. Or anyone that's on watching going to the New York Wreath Gala tomorrow? So if any of you are going to the Wreath Gala and you see me, please come up to me, give me a hug, say hi. I love going to these events and meeting new people. I love it, love it, love it. I live in Jersey, then Katie. My ex was a PD. It hit me hard this year. That's why sucky days. Smart to create. I did a live at noon. Oh, you did? I wish I would have watched, Sue. I'm sorry. I was out running errands, and I went to visit my dad because I know I won't be able to see him for a few days since I'll be going away. Lost your nephew, Kevin Riley, firefighter. Oh, my God, wait. Carol, I lost my nephew, Kevin Riley, firefighter from Rockland County. Kevin Riley. Why does that name sound familiar to me? I live in Rockland County. Where did he go to school? How come I've never seen Ontario girls from Canada before? Hey, Jason, how are you? Kevin Riley. Oh my God, why do I know that name? Hey, honey. You guys, look who we have on. The inventor and creator of The Perfect Tales. Yes, and she just became a, a grandmother for the third time. Little Brooks was just born yesterday. Her third grandson. So, FYI, guys, if you ordered Perfect Tales in the past two weeks or so, okay, just have a little grace on Melissa because she is, you know, going to be with her daughter for the next few days, you know, because she's a first-time mom, and, you know, first-time moms need their moms, you know? So, Melissa has been spending time with her daughter and her grandson and her son-in-law. So it's time to be with family. So I just wanted to put that out there that um, to show her a little love and kindness. If your perfect tales are a day or two late or a couple days late, just show her some grace, okay? Because we'd want that if it was us, right? Lost your uncle, NYPD. I know, so sad. Nah. <laughs> Thank you. I had it done yesterday. Look, no more gray. No more gray. Yes. 
Amy, that's you. I didn't know who was Broken Butts. Amy. Amy who? Do I know Broken Butts Designs? I love the name, though. If I don't, I should. So I love the name. And also, I want to piggyback on what I just said about Melissa, about the perfect tail. So if you did order them, giving her grace for a few days, we would appreciate that. Um, as her friend, I would appreciate that. But if you haven't ordered the perfect tails and you don't have them, what are you waiting for, guys? You need to get your booty onto Burlap Boutique and order yourself some perfect tails. Because I'll tell you, I don't make a design, a wreath design, without using them. They are fabulous. Not only are they fabulous for ribbon tails, they're great if you use Unique in the Creek, if you measure your poofs. Okay? They're great. If you want to make the Soul Sister bow, they're fabulous as well. His mom is Joni and dad, George. George Riley. Why do I know that name? Do you know where you went to high school? I live way down south in New Orleans. Hey, Connie. How are you, girl? I would touch my nose, but I have Jude in my hands. I have Jude to my hands. So yeah, so that's why I wanted, I try to go live as much as I can, but today I was just feeling it. I was feeling, I wanted to do something and I didn't want it just to be anything. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make something pot, uh, patriotic in memory of all those men and women that lost their lives saving hours. You know? It's crazy. Just crazy. Every time I think about it that day. Oh, one fell. I knew that was going to happen. Hey, Bonessa, how are you, girl? Broken Butts Designs. Amy. Amy, have we met? Have we met before? I love the name though. Broken Butts Designs. Sounds like a mother talking to their child. I'll break your butt if you don't listen to me. Roxanne, Roxanne, Roxanne. How are you girl? I love me some Roxanne. Roxanne, like, I'm on a live watching someone and she, like, screams my name. <laughs> I just love her. I do. I love me some Roxanne. Um, Roxanne, we're doing patriotic. Remembering all the friends and family that were lost in 9-11. I wanted to come on and do a little patriotic something. So, that's what I'm doing. I know it's out of season, but listen, we hang patriotic all year round, you know? I don't think being patriotic has a season, to be honest. I know they say 4th of July, blah, 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 you know. Labor Day, Memorial Day. But honestly, I would put this wreath, go to someone's, you know, a military, someone that has fought for my freedom and laid on their wreath, uh, laid on their headstone. I would go down to a fire department here in New York and give it to them, to a police department and just donate it to them because it's just my way of saying thank you. It's just my way of saying thank you, you know? And um, that's what today is for me, you know? Remembering the friends and family that we lost on that horrible, tragic, tragic day and um, just my way of giving back, you know? And if that's me creating a wreath, you know, maybe it might put a smile on someone's face. Who knows? Veterans Day, another one, yep. But I think it should be all year round. No, it doesn't. Everyone should be proud to be an American. That's right, Jason. I agree. Absolutely agree. I love that you 
doing this. Everyone I saw today is doing Patreonic. See, that's awesome. I haven't even watched anyone's lives today. But I think that's awesome. That's how it should be. The community coming together. All right, I dropped one overboard. Let me go get that one. See, this is how you know that this is such a great community. When we can all come together and unite. You know? And it's just our little way of saying thank you. Hey, Lisa. That's right, Sandra. So if we can get this live up to 150 people in the clubhouse, I am going to give away a rotary cutter. It's a pretty good rotary cutter. I think I have. Yeah, let's give away a rotary cutter. Um, do I have to cut more mesh? I sure do. How many do I need? One, two, three. I need three of them. Let's see if I can get three out of this without having to open up another one. I don't know. We might have to go open up another one. Um, this blade. If I don't change this blade... I don't know if it's the blade or the mat. It could be the mat that's catching. Yes, we're doing one tonight as well on our live. Jody, what are you doing tonight on your live? Are you doing a patriotic as well? I think that's awesome. Exactly, Connie. I agree. Um, I think I'm going to go through way. Is that our 17? I might take 17. I haven't really decided yet. Sue, so you be good, okay, girl? All right, I have to go open up another one, I think. Yes, I have my blades. They're over there, but I don't think I need a new blade because it's sharp. I think it's my mat. I think I have crap on my mat. So, um... That's what I think it's getting stuck on. Honestly. Hey, Roseanne, how are you? Hey, now, thanks for blessing my page. I appreciate it. I'm going to put together a little care package. If we can get up to 150, I'm going to give away a rotary cutter, uh, maybe a mini bolt, um, bolt cutters, you know, the cobalt bolt cutters that I use. I have some of those. I'll give away a little package of fun tools. If we can get 150 people in the clubhouse. Let's do a giveaway for 9-11, shall we? Wouldn't that be fun? Someone receiving a tool package? All right, I need one more. i got to open another one. Does Max think this was one? I'll be right back. I think this is the most that I've walked away from the camera. I keep my mesh in my other room. So I separate my personal mesh that I use and I separate what I sell, what's in my shop. So it doesn't get confusing. And all the first responders that were there and even the volunteers who weren't trained but so wanted to assist tragedy that pulled a nation together. Yeah. Ooh, sorry, Clancy. Sorry, Bubby. Clancy always gets hit in the head with things.
Yep, there's so many lives. So many, so many lives. So many fire departments and police departments from all over the country. Is it my, I don't know what it is. You know, that went to volunteer on that day. It's tragic. I think it is my belief. Thank you, Sarah. I appreciate it. Who's doing uh, Patriotic also? I'm missing all the comments because I keep having to leave. I wouldn't open another one. Just move one. No, I can't do that. I gotta... My OCD would, would kick in. That I... Uh, it wasn't even and everything. I can't do that. I'd have to open it. Thank you, Kim. I appreciate that. I gotta find out where that Kevin Riley went to high school. That name is just so familiar to me. All right. My school does a fundraiser and they put up flags front of our house, of your house. Holidays though. Oh, that's nice. Me too, Diane. I remember it like it was yesterday also. I live 10 miles off Route 17, exit 60. Oh, you're, oh, so you're not that bad. I go to exit 123 for, um, my sister. We're not that far away from each other. All right, so this is what we got, guys. This is going to be a gorgeous read. This is going to be nice and full. Love it. All right. So let's get Land of the Free. It should say Land of the Free because of the Brave. That's what it should say. All right. Let's work on this now. Where is... So let me tell you guys. Um, in this past week, you know, every time I go live here on Facebook, I post it on YouTube. You know, in my YouTube channel. So, I get a lot of comments in YouTube that say, you talk too much. Work more on the project. Get to the project. You talk too much. And it kind of like, I was talking to Melly Mel about it. And, um, you know, I'm, th I'm thinking in my head, I mean, really? You have to write things like that, people? I don't understand people. If you have nothing nice to say, do you really have to, I mean, say things like that? I mean, just move on. Watch someone else if I'm not your cup of tea. What am I doing? I don't throw that away. Keep that. That's money. Um, I just, it's just the last few days have just, I don't understand. Why can't people just be nice? You know? I mean, it's a free thing you're watching. You're not paying for it. Do you really have to write a comment like that that's hurtful? I don't know. All right, Cherry. You're Odessa. Every year they put in the mix. And every person on 9 11 this year, they added seven more yellow ribbons. For seven people that lost a few weeks. Ah, oh, it's so sad. But it's such a nice tribute. Put it in the tub when you get back. Yeah, that's nice. Albertus Magnus, yes! What year do you graduate? Hey, Scott Waterman, I'm going to be hugging your neck tomorrow, sweet thing. Sweet, sweet thing. So, yeah, so, um, I got, like, two messages that are, like, you talk too much. You need to move on with your project. And I'm, like, you know what I really want to say to this person? I'm, like, but I can't, you know? But I'm, like, let me see you go live. Let's see what you can do, you know? It just got me. It just got me. And I usually don't let things get to me. But it did. You guys, you guys all say ho hello to Scott Waterman from Waterman's Loft. He's a busy little bee, that's Scott Waterman. He's opening up a store. He's got his website. 
He, I needed scissors that cuts. <laughs> um, and he's going to be a presenter at, um, at the Reef Gala this weekend. Super excited to see my friend. I can call you my friend, right, Scott? I feel like we're friends. I mean, if we talk on the phone and have had a personal conversation and I, you know, talk to you about my life, I can call you my friend. St. Anthony's, that's where we used to go to church, St. Anthony's. What year did he graduate? I wonder how old he is. Hey, Ty, how are you, girl? Tam, are you going to send Clancy a bone for getting knocked in the head? So I'm taking my mom this weekend. Super excited to spend some time with my mom because life has been hard on her with my dad and everything. So taking her out. Going to see Rochester. Really not much exciting going on in Rochester. But she said, just to get away, she'd like to take the ride with me. I said, all right, absolutely. Next month, I really want to go. How many of you are going to Tammy Hodges um, and Jacqueline's retreat in October? I really want to go. Melly Mel is going to be there. She's one of the speakers. Really want to do it. Just don't know if I can. Check your blade guard. There is no guard on this. It's just you squeeze in and the blade comes down. There's no guard on this one. Hey Juanita, how are you? Thank you, Jason. I appreciate that. Love full reads allow you to stuff it full of embellishments. I do, but I don't have I don't have um I don't have <laughs> a lot of patriotic still down here. I have it all away. So whatever I have down here is what we got, guys. That's what we got. You talk too much. Get the projects. Explain what you're doing. I'm moving on. This isn't a cup of tea. <laughs> Scott, what is wrong with people? Scott, they don't know me. They hide behind a computer and type things. Say it to my face. What is wrong with people? Oh my God, I'm going to show you tomorrow. Listen, I screenshot it because I, I sent it to Melly Mel. Um, I love that girl. Because um, she was talking about it on her live. I was like, girl, you don't even know. So yeah, I'm like, what is wrong with you? You don't have to say, just move on. Stop typing ugly stuff to people. You don't like me? That's okay. I'm not everyone's cup of tea. I get it. Not everyone is my cup of tea. But seriously, I would never write that. I need, where's my little blue guy? I'm like blind in my old age. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Thanks, Maggie. That's rude, Katie. I agree, right? I would never, my mother raised me better than that. You know? I mean, there's a time and place for everything. But when you see someone having a business and trying to grow their business, for you to rate something like that on their page, on their business page, at least send me a private message and say you don't like me. <laughs> you know? I don't know. You got to laugh, right? I need some advice. I'm new at wreath making for custom wreaths that would be a fair price and should I charge yes Sandra you always get a deposit always I try I always take half of what the project is now if it's something they give me a budget I take half if it's they don't know how much it's gonna be because I don't know what I'm putting into it and they give me an idea in my mind while they're describing what they want I already have an idea you know what I mean I have an idea what they what it's gonna be so I'll take 
you know, what I think, 25% or 20%, you know, as a deposit, you know. Now, when I do it, whether it's over the internet or in person, a custom order, I write everything down. Everything is done professionally. I have forms that I've already printed up. I, I um, send them. I scan them into my computer. I send them. Everything's done business-like. I have to leave and let the dogs out and run some errands. Godspeed, Katie. Have fun and stay safe. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, girl. I love you. Hey, Snooks. Love that name, Snooks. I know. Usually, Scott, I don't let it bother me, usually. But um, I don't know. I got two. And I happen to be on the phone with Melly Milk, chatting with her. And I don't know. It just, it kind of like hit me, you know? So I was like, what is wrong? All right, I'm going to put this over to the right a little. All right. And get this sucker in. But uh, I was like, what is wrong with these people? Seriously. You know? And right after the first tower went down, the guy who threw himself from the second tower just knew he wasn't getting... Wasn't getting... Oh, my God. There was... You don't even know the stories, guys. Living here during 9-11, the stories that were going on about people throwing themselves from the buildings and just so sad. I can't even, I don't even want to think about it. I lost so many friends that I went to school with that were firemen, paramedics. They came up from here from where I live and drove down there. Just such a sad, sad, devastating, just, ugh, oh, I can't even. So this is my way of coming on today and just showing my love for all those men and women that sacrificed for my freedom. Amy is always talking too. Who's Amy? Do I know Amy? Hey, Brittany, how are you, girl? You guys, thank you for spreading the love. I really do appreciate it. So, I decided, I was, when I was talking to Millie Mill, she's like, girl, you should have talked more. I was like, I know, but it was at the end of my design, and I didn't know that she wrote it until after the fact, you know? So, um, I was like, if I would have known it, I probably would have talked more. I would have chatted it up. Just because she pissed me off. Scott, are you doing something? Scott, when are you leaving tomorrow? Are you flying? I need to know a little information. I'm sorry I didn't answer your call this morning. But I had to run errands with my mom. And uh, then I had to go see my dad. And I think you called me when I was actually with my dad. So when I visit my dad, I literally, like, I, I, like, try not to use my phone. I like to concentrate and be with him, you know. And um, I usually turn my phone off sometimes, but he wanted to call my brother, so my phone was on. Hey, Kathy, how are you? Thanks, Bonessa. I appreciate that. Scott is awesome. Scott's like my brother. He's like my brother from another mother. That's when I go on his lives. And I don't really catch him live much anymore. I guess we have like different schedules. But when I do catch him live, that's what I always write. My brother from another mother. I love Scott. He sure does. I watch you because you talk to us. It makes me feel like you're a part, like I am a part of a group. Aw, Cindy, thank you, girl. I appreciate that. All right, so we're on. What I do is I look at it. Do I like the positioning? I do. Let's go back here now and let's finish it off. Mm. I love working with seasonal products, you know, because you know, they're easy and, you know, to get to. But this is almost a little bit of a challenge because, like I said, all my patriotic is away. 
So I don't have like my things out here. So I was like, how am I going to make this look so patriotic? But I'm going to. And then I'm going to drive my butt down to my local police station or fire department. And I'm giving it to them. So this is what I do, guys. It's not just the amount that you spend on the products. Like, let's say you go to Michael's. You spend $50 on wreath-making supplies. Now you got to count the gas that drove you to Michael's, okay? Your time designing the item. Okay, now you're going to promote it. You're going to put it on Etsy or your website, so that's a charge, okay? Or Amazon, whatever you're putting it on. So you got to put that... Everything that you use has to go into the price of that item, okay? So when also with shipping, okay? Shipping is outrageous. But who's paying for the ink, the paper, you know, all these things, the boxes, the tape, the packing materials? Who's paying for all that, you know? Um, so you have to be able to put that price into your wreath, okay? So it's not just what you spend on supplies times two or times three or times four, you have to know everything that goes into the wreath from the rooted to the tutor. From the moment you come up with the conception of making your design to the moment it goes out your door. You have to think what is, what's going on there, you know? All right, we're going to do something with this bow up here, but not yet. Let's do tails, okay? So that's why it's great to have um, a design coach or a business coach, especially a business coach when you're starting out. You know? Oh, thank you, Ann. I appreciate that. Oh, Connie. I know, I want to go to Con uh, Tammy's too. I'm trying really hard. I'm trying really hard to try and work it out. Ooh, Crafters Convention. Super excited. I know, right, Jason? I would love to smack them. I would. Super excited for Crafters Convention. I remember the first time I saw you were making the wreath behind you. The red and white blue flowers one with the stars which one? Oh, that one that's the pull through method I love that one that was in group Roxanne that was in group didn't we do that in group thank you Sandra I appreciate that no moolah no root no wreath that should be a t-shirt thank you it is a big sign you could use it easily as a door hanger but I want to make a big wreath because my intention is to bring it down to my local fire department or um, police station. So I want something big. 11 a.m. tomorrow morning in Rochester. Ooh, that's awesome. I'll be leaving here about 9. I probably won't get there until like, if I leave at 9, probably won't get there until about 3, 2 or 3. Yes, Connie, I can see your comments. You've domed? I don't know what that means. I love here you have learned to learn. Ah, oh, thank you, Vicky. Tammy H. always leaves it in a bin close by. Patriot can be all... Yes, all year round. But I don't have the room to leave it out all year round. All right, let's get some perfect tails, guys. I pulled some ribbon... What I thought I wanted to use. Okay. Alrighty. We're going to do 12 inch. No, we're not. Let's do 13 inch tails. Let's get my ribbon scissors out. Let's put them away. Alright, there we go. Supplies, I would think, everything that it takes to make it till you ship it. And ship it. Yep. Absolutely. I don't know. Scott, where's the next crafters convention? 
Is it going to be in Illinois? I would assume. So actually the ones I made, I robbed myself out of money because I didn't add all of that in when I shipped and made, see? That's why it's important to have a business coach or a design coach, someone that tells you those things. Now I'm not a business coach, I am a design coach. I have my own group, um, but we do like we do talk about shipping, stuff like that. Um, Doodles, who does my husband, I call him Doodles. His name is Lou. Um, he's in charge of my shipping, and um, we did a live with him, and um, went over everything with shipping that goes into it. So you when you're going from a hobby to a business you have to know what's entailed you know but now you know now you're getting educated you know and you'll know for the next time you know and that's what's important just learning hey Yvonne how are you got some beautiful nutcracker yes my love you sure did yes you did you said you wanted it sorry Katie gotta go we'll catch the rest on upload. Absolutely. You got it, girl. Thank you for hanging out and supporting. I appreciate it. Okay, so the only reason why I took this off the roll is because this ribbon is only 12 feet. So I want to be able to count my tails that I'm doing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. You were waving it and talking about it, so I thought you made it on a live that I caught that day. Oh, no, I think that was in our group, that one. Do you want to be my biz buddy? Oh, my God, you guys are hooking up here on my live. I love it, Tammy. I love it. Yes, have a biz buddy. So important. I still communicate with my biz buddy, and we have been biz buddies for our... Wow, almost it's over a year now, and we still chat. It's very important to have someone in the community that is there for you and supports you and can help you with things for each other, for you, for each of you. See you later, Roxanne. Thank you, honey. I appreciate you. Thank you, Karen. I appreciate you guys spreading the love. So I was going to say let's get to 150, but it doesn't look like that. I wanted to give away some uh, some wreathing tools, a rotary cutter, cobalt um, mini bolt cutters, just a little, little uh, swag bag of tools if we can get to 150 people in the clubhouse. But I don't know. Seems like the numbers are going the wrong way. Did someone just go live or something? Someone jump on my bandwagon here. Hey, Kathy Kirkland. How are you, girl? Today's my son's birthday, so we tried to make this day about him, but my husband lost his grandmother. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, thanks, Jody. Jody, first time watching. Well, welcome. Listen, if you like what you see and you want to see more of me, you can write live alert in the comments, and my cabana boy will send you a message. All you have to do is respond back to that message, and you will be put on a list that every time I go live, you'll get a notification that says, hey, Katie's live. Come watch. I don't know if it says that exactly, but you'll get notified that I'm going live. Maybe everyone is at work. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah. I have a good rotary cutter. The cobalt mini bolt cutters are awesome. Love them. I recommend them highly. And I have some other fun stuff that uh, be great for anyone's craft room.
Hey, Lois, how are you? How are you? How are you? So happy to hear that other people are doing patriotic as well on this day. So if you guys are new to my page, please, I would appreciate it if you go like my Facebook page and you follow me. I would appreciate that. And then if you wouldn't mind, head on over to my YouTube channel and subscribe there. Would love that. I'm trying to build that as well. Yes, live alert. Live alert. All right, so what's next? We did these. Let's do, do a little burlap. Oh, wait, maybe we'll do... What do I have here? Yeah, I like that. Let's finish this one off. Sorry I'm late. I just finished feeding my 18-month-old. Sending love from Houston. Oh, Bethany, you don't have to apologize, girl. You're 18 months old. What Do you have a boy or a girl? I need to know more. Yes. we have, In my private group, I have giveaways all the time. So this one is a six month, I think we have until December. So it's the Clubby Chubby Challenge. And it's not about weight loss, just about being healthy. And Maggie won. We gave away bolt cutters and a tool, whole mess of tools. Then we gave away, um, what was our other prize? Um, oh, geez, I just forgot. What was the other prize? This month was a four and one. One of my members won the four and one from Probo the Hands. Um, oh, my God, I can't remember what last month's giveaway was. Thanks, Yvonne. He's a boy. CJ. Oh, how cute. Congratulations. That's awesome. Thank you, Diane. Yeah, I was just feeling like, you know, melancholy and just remembering a lot of friends and family that I lost during this tragedy. And um, I wanted to do, you know, my little part. My little part. So, I'm going to actually bring this down. I'm going to take a drive after this live and bring this down to my local fire department or police station. They're right across the street from each other. So, I actually should make two, one for each, but not today because I have other things I have to do. But, I probably will make another. Not probably, I will. Katie Jacob says he needs Aunt Katie and Uncle Doodle's time, so he's packing his truck. Oh, my God, Jacob, you are too cute. Love that boy. Oh, he is. You give that little baby a big hug and kiss from me. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Be easier if I had my uh, my um, this on a spool holder. There we go. I just put on uh, chicken wings for my mom. That's what she's having tonight for dinner. Nice and easy. Aw, uh, Jacqueline can't wait, girl. We have a great group in Katie's Clubhouse. Our clubbies, whoops, that went flying, are the best. We did a design last night. I showed them another way of using um, the Dollar Tree candy cane, Dollar Tree candy cane frames, and we used it designing something for the fall. 
and it's fabulous. I've been working on it for a few weeks now, and I can't tell you guys, but they loved it. They loved the idea. It came out gorgeous. You will enjoy the group. Hope you can join soon. Ah, oh, thanks, Kathy. Katie, Kevin was in his 20s, died three weeks after he got married, never found him. He was in Tower 1. Oh my God, Carol, I'm so sorry. I just know the name, though. He was in his 20s. So, 9-11 happened. I was, I think I was 31. So, but the name, I don't know. I, I'm sure, I, I'm sure I either know him, his family something um i think we're gonna go with just one and a half i don't think i'm gonna do two and a half i wasn't feeling two and a half inch from the get-go we'll use it in the bow i think we're gonna just use those two and then we'll use these other ribbons for the bow carol i'm so sorry Honestly. So, Carol, I don't know Carol and never met her, just on my live. Um, but her uncle, her godfather, um, is someone I do know. I don't really know him. Like, I know who he is. I've met him a few times when I was a kid. But her uncle and godfather was a deacon at our church. And my parents actually know him. He was, he actually gave my mother her first job when she was a kid. <laughs> So talk about a small world. We club is having yes, we are a family and we do have a blast. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you, Connie. Maggie, you're in the lobby. <laughs> Shocking. All right, let's get some tails in. All right. Yes, that is hilarious. Yep. All right, so we're going to put some tails in. I might do some cheater bows after this. It depends. You know, we'll see. We'll feel it out. And I'm not going to separate them too much. I'm going to keep them all coming forward because this is such a big wreath. I'm going to have my tails coming forward. I don't want it to make it wider. Thank you guys for spreading the love. I really appreciate it. So let me show you what we're doing here. Let me hold it up for you. All right. So that's how we're going to go around the bottom. Then we're going to go around the top. QVC on when they're making something with shrimp. Ooh, making me hungry. Hey, Margie, how are you, girl? Is Melissa still on here? Thanks, Ivana. I appreciate that. You think the boys at the fire department are going to like this? I don't know if we have any female firefighters in my town. Okay. I got a pack tonight. 
I'm just in my head sitting here. This is what I usually do when I'm designing. I think of all the things I still have to get done. I have three more orders to finish up. Um, so this way I can go away with a clean conscience. 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 Con you know what I'm saying. Um, conscience. Oh my God. English is hard. You would think after 50 years of speaking it, I would have it down by now. No, I don't. Yay, Melissa's here. Aren't you supposed to be go seeing that grandbaby of yours, girl? See, she's so worried about getting her tails out and all her, her shipments out that she's not going to see her grandbaby. See how she worries about you guys? I told her if everyone would understand if they were a day or two late. Right, guys? If you guys have perfect tails that are supposed to be shipped in the next couple days, wouldn't you understand if she went to go see her newborn grandson in the hospital? Three pounds of shrimp, 88 bucks? Uh, that's a lot. Hey, Bonnie Burns. How are you, girl? How are you? How are you? So if you guys check out my shop, Crazy Maisie Creation, I added some new picks in there, Halloween picks. They have witch boots on them and... No, I'm sorry, witch hats on them. And they have... Um, what was the other thing? Witch hats. I can't remember what the other item was. But they're gorgeous. They're, they're big, they're tall, they're glittery, perfect for Halloween. Oh, spiders. It's witch hats and spiders. It just came to me. So I got them at my supplier, and I knew that you guys would love them. So I put them in my shop just yesterday, last night actually. So they're there. I added some ribbon. Some fall ribbon is in my shop as well. Uh, kits are in there, the candy corn kit, the witch kit. I have some great Halloween kits in there, some great fall kits in there that are available. Okay. Tammy, did you ever um, order those two kits that you wanted, girl? I have them over here on the side waiting on you. Special chopped beef. Cat ribbon. No, I don't have cat ribbon. I do, though, have Beverly. I do have, um, like, paw ribbon. Is that what you're looking for? Like the animal paw print? Or I'll show you what I have, but it's not in my shop because I, ha I just haven't had a chance. But give me, let me just finish this tail, and I'll show you what I have. And if it is something you want, I'll... I promise I'll try and get it in tonight, okay? Have to go get some prepping ready for my live. See you later, Katie. Good night, sweet Connie. Or I shouldn't say good night. It's not good night. What is wrong with me? It's 4.30 in the afternoon. I'll see you later, Connie. <laughs> His sister, Regina Riley. I think she's around your age. Regina Riley. I don't know. All right, let's do the top. Thank you, Linda. I appreciate it. I have to stand now. Hey, Pamela. How are you, girl? I have cat ribbon, but I live in Canada. Carol. Hey, Carol. Just waiting for his check Friday, then paying for them. For me, this stupid heart attack. Girl, listen, no worries. I told you that. I just wanted to mention it to you because I didn't know if uh, you were still planning on it or what what the dealio was. But you know, whenever you're ready. Having a problem remembering words, names are worse. Yes. Vaughn, Yes. No, the back K 
cat in Halloween bundle. Oh, that one you want. You want me to break up that bundle? Oh, that one. Um, what's in that bundle? I don't even remember offhand. After watching Katie, now I want to go make a wreath. Yes, Sherry, go make a wreath, girl. Absolutely. Do it on a live. Do it on a live. All right. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. All I had was a little bit of skinny pop. Because I was so focused on doing errands today for my mom and going to see my dad that I've not taken time to eat, which is no bueno. Whoopsie. This side, see what we have going on down here. So, with um, hearts, how many of you are doing craft fairs in September? Show me with hearts. And if you're doing craft fairs in October, show me with smiley faces. Yes, Ivana, I got my hair done. No more grays for at least six weeks. I guess he's. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> so if you have a craft show coming up in September, let me see hearts. If you have them in October, let me see smiley faces. One smiley face. Ooh, lots of hearts. Love that. Don't you guys love going to shows in September? That harvest, oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. Ooh, a lot of October as well. I love it. I got here and I knew something was wrong. It was quiet, haha, -ha. I had to unmute the video. Damien, you are so funny. Damien, you're not going to um, the New York Wreath Gala. What's up with that? Huh? What's up with coming to New York and not coming to New York, I should say? Hmm? What's up with that? Hunty, I need to know. All right, so this is what we got so far, guys. Okay. Got to add a little bow action up in here. We're donating this to my local fire department. After this live, I'm driving right down the street to our local fire department, and I'm donating this to them. I have mini chat. Oh, oh, that's right. I think I knew that. You had the conference. I knew that. Damon. Look at me, right here. Look at me, Damon. I'm talking to you. I want to go to Tammy and Jackie's event in October. I want to. How do I make this happen? How do I tell Doodles that I want to go to another conference? How? Oh, my Lord. How do I tell him? It outranked it. We got to go learn new stuff so we can all grow and implement it. I agree. I agree, D. All right, oh, just drop that. Oh, let's use this. Let's make a bow, shall we? I think the firemen and women would like a bow on their wreath. Amex, I have no problem paying for it. That's not the issue, it's not that. It's doodles. 
How do I want to go so bad? Melly Mel is going to be there. I want to go. You're going to be there. Tammy, Jack, I want to go. But how do I make this happen? I don't know. I don't know. I know I'm going to this one in New York. Leaving tomorrow. Driving. And I swore I would never drive more than three hours to go anywhere. And I'm driving four and a half hours. But I figured, since it was in my own backyard, um, why the hell not? Tell Doodles, you're just going to Austin to hang out with me. <laughs> right? I think Clancy and Maisie agree. Like to go to craft shows, but do not get a chance to go because I work full-time job, which... We work on the weekends. I know that sucks, right? I know. I feel you on that one. All right, what are we doing? Let's make a bow. Let's use... I haven't used my easy bow maker in a while. Let's grab that bad boy. Easy bow maker. Yes, yes. I know. Um, all right. Let's make a bow. Me and Julie talked today about Wreath Makers Live. We will have updates soon. So you all start putting Wreath Maker Live tickets on your Christmas list. Could you imagine? Listen. That's not even a gift for me. That is just a necessity. Wreath Makers Live. Listen, I will never miss a Wreath Makers Live. Ever. I, it's just a necessity. It's part of my business. You know what I'm saying? It's just how it goes. I'm not feeling this. I want more. This is what I want. not feeling this. Katie, the show in New York is a mother-daughter trip to unwind. <laughs> Houston will be work conference. Listen, I'm bringing my mom this weekend. It's more to get her out, you know, just so she clears her head and everything. But she, I love spending time with my mom. I do. Like, I could go away with her. We go to Clearwater for spring training. I, I could spend every minute with my mom. She is a trip. A trip. Don't get me wrong. There are times she gets on my nerves. She does. But there's nothing I wouldn't do for her. And I'd rather spend time with her than anyone else in this world. I'll tell you that right now. Why is that no use? Why is that no one uses the Probo anymore to make bows? I use it. I use the Pro Bow. I just made a bow on the Pro Bow the other day using it. I use my Pro Bow, my 4-in-1 all the time. I actually haven't used my Easy Bow in a while. So I decided to. Thank you. Go your comments on your full fest. And it really means a lot to me. Aww. Thanks, Carol. I want an easy, easy bow maker. Can't afford the Pro Bow. Well, Sherry, I have easy bow makers in my shop. Head on over to crazymeasycreation.com and you can get yourself a bow maker today. And it comes with the rosettes, too. You know, these that... Let me say, let me show you. It comes with the little rosette maker. So I made this sign, okay? And I added a little a rosette to it that I made on the Easy Bow Maker. Comes with that little square and it teaches you how to make roses, which is fabulous. Hey, Laura Jean, how are you, girl? I'll be seeing Laura Jean tomorrow as well. 
because uh, she's a fellow New Yorker and she's going to the wreath retreat. We're also going to focus on more business this time. Yes, Damon. Yes. That's awesome. More business. I loved business day at um, Wreath Makers Live. Loved it. Loved it. I loved meeting uh, Brooke from Refab. I love her. She's the sweetest, cutest little thing. And I loved hearing about the blogging because that's something I'm interested in is blogging. Um, and um, I just loved it. I really did. I loved business day. So into that. You guys, if you wouldn't mind spreading the love for me, I would really appreciate it. Because not only when you share my page and spread the love for me, you're actually building and help building this wonderful community. So by building up my page, we're letting this community know, hey, come check out Katie. Let's build this community one designer at a time. So when you spread the love for not just me, for any designer, it's help building our community. That is fabulous. And I love the wreathing community. And I'm so happy to be a part of it. And um, I feel blessed that I've met so many wonderful people. Phone dying. Got to catch the rest when my phone charges. You got it, Tammy. Feel better, girl. You're in my prayers, okay? Feel better. Ooh, I can't wait for Wreath Makers Live now. Super excited. Yes. All right. That I like better as my base. What do we got here? Let's do... Do, do, do. No, I mean, I don't think there's a reason why. I mean, the easy bow maker, like, I mean, like its name, it's easy. It's lightweight. It's just, you know, it's easy. You know, like the Pro Bow, I love the Pro Bow. I have it right here. It's just bigger, more cumbersome. You know, it makes beautiful bows. But it's just, you got to get the pegs, the wire. This is just less effort, you know. That's all this is. This is just, you know. And But yet it makes a beautiful bow. Listen, I can make a bow with the bow dabber and it would still be gorgeous. Okay? So it's not really about the tools. And if you ask any one of my private group members, my clubbies, they'll tell you that it doesn't matter what you use, whether it's the gift that God gave you, your two hands, or any of these tools that God gave you, you know, bless you with the pro bow, the four in one, the bow dabra, the easy bow maker. It does not matter. I did a Sunday. I have bow Sunday in my group and I made a bow with everything with my hands. I made a bow with the bow dabra. I made a bow with the pro bow four in one easy bow maker. And they all came out gorgeous, full fat and fabulous. Let me tell you, and you wouldn't know which was made by which machine. Katie, what company do you ship your wreaths with? Um, Carol, I either use USPS, um, UPS, FedEx, um, and those are the three main ones that I use. Shared, but had to jump on home wall to share. I have no share button from this live. What? LJ, what? What? <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Why, did, why is there no share button on this live? What's up with that? Well, I just got a little spunky. I just got, I, I just felt my, like, adrenaline just rise a little. I did. I'm excited to bring this to my local fire department. I am. It's just something I can do to say thanks, guys. I appreciate everything you guys do. Just remembering our fallen... Men and women on that day. It is. It's easy. It's mindless. It's easy. Oh, I don't know. But listen, spreading the love any way you can, whether it's on your personal page, your business page, in a group, as long as you spread the love, 
That's all that matters. That is all that matters. All right. That there, I want to do <laughs> Lord Jean is just backwards. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? I'm so excited though that I'm going to the wreath retreat tomorrow because literally in my backyard. Even though I have to drive for a half hours, but it's going to be nice to have my car. Whenever I go to these things, I never have my car with me. So it's going to be nice. So if I purchase something, I don't have to worry about shipping. I'm always the one that has to spend like so much money on shipping things back. And you know, all these conferences and everything are like across country, you know, like either in Texas or wherever. And I'm spending so much money shipping it back to New York. So it's going to be nice to have it right Put it right in my back seat, right in my trunk. Alrighty. There we go. Let's get pipe cleaners. Now I use pipe cleaners for all you guys that are new to watching me. I know a lot of people use zip ties, wire. I use pipe cleaners. All right. All right. So let's get this up. I were 10 years younger. Yeah. All right. Let's put that away. Let's get Heavy D up in the house. Right through here. Let's fluff this bad boy, shall we? Fluff. All right, here we go. Oh my God, now they have cheesecake on. This is not good for my diet. Junior's cheesecake here in Brooklyn. Oh my God. Seriously, people, why do you do this when I'm dieting? It's chocolate fudge cheesecake. Seriously? Okay, I'm off to nap. Cared and shared. Ah, oh, thank you, LJ. I appreciate it. Sweet dreams, girl. Sweet dreams. I know, right? Juniors. All right, so we just made a sweet little bow for this design. Um, I don't think they're live streaming it. I don't know, honestly. I shouldn't even answer that. I, I honestly have no idea if they're live streaming it. Okay. 
Let's get this in. Right, Maggie? Me too, right? All right. This is a Fatty McFadderson wreath. And I'm loving it. I went to college in New York and missed the food. Where'd you go to college? Beth? We get the sugar free for my dad. I bring it up to him. All right. Oh, NYU. Wow, that's right in my backyard. I had surgery there. <laughs> That's where I had my knee surgery at NYU many, many years ago. Okay. Got to tuck that in. I don't want any wires cutting or scratching my customer's Adora. All right. Fluff. All right, let's see how this looks. Okay, let's add. This is coming out. This is irritating me. So let's cut it. Is it glued? Let's see what's going on here. There's like a hole. There we go. That crap off. All right, let's see. How does this look on there? If we added this in that spot. This says, bless your heart. Or should we make, I have an idea. Should we make uh, a brook bow? Brook from Refab? I say we make a brook bow. Let me get, that's what I'm feeling, a brook bow. Ohio girl was a trip, learned fast, and loved New York. I love New York. I do. I love it. I love it where I live because I'm close enough to the city, but yet far enough to enjoy suburban life. All right, let's see. How big do we want these? Okay. I'm going to use my tiny tails. Okay. What's the accent piece? It looks like a pillow. Yeah, it's like a little embellishment pillow thing. I don't think we're going to use it. Katie, you got to 100 once, then went down. Okay, well, we can get there again, can't we, girl? Can't we, can't we, can't we? We sure can. We could do anything. 
I'm the same way living in New Jersey. Right? What part of Jersey are you in? I do have a mini flag, but um, it is put away. Yeah, spread the love. Got to give away some tools, some wreathing tools today, but it doesn't seem to be working out. But that's okay. okay. Northern New Jersey. Okay. So you're close to me. Lisa, are you in Paramus area? Let's do um, let's do one of these since we have that in our tails. Hello, living in Connecticut. I moved up from Georgia to be with my kids and grand. Oh, that's awesome. You guys, listen, I started a group called the Northeast Reets N, the letter N, more. And I'm going to try and do a meet and greet, some kind of shinding. So if you want to go join it, answer the questions, tell me where you live. Um, I don't want to do that one. I want to do this one. Um... It's a group for anyone that lives in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, uh, Massachusetts, Virginia, Maine, anywhere within a three, three and a half hour radius of me. So definitely go join it. And I'm hoping to do some get togethers. Oakland. Oh, okay. All right. What else? I'm going to do one of the polka dots, I think. Maybe one of the, not the polka dots. Let's do one of these. Oh, is this eight inches? Oh, just shy, but we're going to use it. I think we can. All right. Let's do this little rustic. Refabo of Brooks. Half hour away from Tappan Zee Bridge. Girl, I'm 20 minutes away from Tappan Zee Bridge. You mean the Mario Cuomo Bridge? That no one refers to it as? Girl, why have we not hooked up? Well, you're my neighbor. We could play together. We could craft together. What's up? I joined, that would be awesome to do get-togethers. Yes. Melanie, absolutely. Okay, this is the simplest bow. Other than the Soul Sister bow, this is the uh, simplest bow. Guys. Oops. The Perfect Tales. Soul Sister Bow is just as simple as this, which we'll have to make on another day. Dang wire came out. I'll have to cut another eight. I didn't want to sit there, I got frustrated. Young, Chattanooga, Tennessee is where we lost five soldiers because of the uh, horrible, absolutely horrible. All right. That. Okay. And we're going to do that. 
and do that. Perfect. Okay. And that, guys, so far. All right. And then I'm going to get some twine, which I have right over here. I cannot pull it all apart. There we go. I'm going to cut it. Zippity doo da. I don't know why that's in my head, but it is. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Yes, it, it's for crafters, not just wreath makers. It's for all kinds of crafters. Okay. So that um, new group that I started is for anyone in the crafting industry. So if you do furniture, if you do, it doesn't matter what you do, what you design, what you make. Um, if you live in the Northeast and you want to be a part of a community of fun, fabulous people, well, this is your community. Hey Connie, how are you? But are not it doesn't matter if you're a business owner or you're not. You could be a hobbyist, you could be a business, it does not matter. It's just a fun place that we get together, share ideas, inspire each other. That's all it's about. So you could be a business owner. You don't have to be a business owner. I wish I had a little star or something that I could put on here. Oops, pulled that too much. Can we have a happy medium? There we go. Happy medium somewhere. I'm going to take some raffia too, I think. Yeah, this is uh, Brooke from Refab. This is her um, design of a of like an easy bow that we could put on here. And I'll fluff it out more when uh, we get it on. But it's a little country looking, a little rustic, and that's what I wanted. I didn't want something perfect like a like that. I just wanted something just thrown together on here. Okay, I'm going to get a little raffia. I feel like I want it. Now I have color raffia that I'm going to use here. It's like a, um, a like a burgundy brown color. I think it will look good. Let's cut one more. And this is really how I design, guys, in the moment. I usually come up with my, I don't, I'm not that designer that preps her work. You know, you'll never see me have my mesh cut or my ribbon cut. It's not how my brain works. I design usually on the fly. And that's how my best designs come out. Okay. okay. 
really should have tied it in ahead of time, but I didn't. So, I just want to try and put it right over here. Put some on top as well. Just want to hold that for a moment. You don't do ducktail on this boat. No, Carol. No, no dovetail on this. You want to keep it rustic. Okay. Yep, Sherry, that's how I do it. I'm just going to hold it here for a moment. Now, you just see the... The raffia just peeking out just a little bit from under the bow. That's what I wanted. See, just peeking out a little. I don't want it to overtake this bow. Clans, clans. I think uh, Zoodles is home. So I want to get... Oopsie, that fell. I want to get another glue stick putting my glue gun. So I just want to add a little glue to that. See, so I normally keep one of my glue sticks in my doodle caddy. So I always have it handy. And you can use one of the sections in here for your glue sticks if that's something you want to use. Like instead of your pens, you can put your glue, glue sticks in there. You know, and you have your glue sticks already. So I'm just gonna take a couple more pieces. And I don't want too many, I just want a few. You got glue spiders drive me nuts. Someone's got to come up with a way to end the whole glue spider thing. Seriously. All right, we're going to put, let me try two more. Actually, I'm going to have doodles come with me down to the fire department when we go to donate this. Okay. We're going to do it because he's as much as, you know, part of this business as I am. He is in charge of the shipping department. He cuts all my wood for my signs. He does the doodle caddy. I mean, he's the inventor and creator of the doodle caddy and he builds them, guys. What I do, I do the the names, you know, so whether you want your website on here or you want your business name on here or your child's name or your husband's name or your name for your desk, I do that. He does everything else. All right, so that's on there. I'm just going to put a little more right on the bottom. Oops. Alrighty. Put my eight inch perfect tail back in its doodle caddy. Okay, I'm just gonna hold that for a moment. Alright. So I can't wait to see everyone else's designs today that's going live for 9-11. And whether you do lives or you don't do lives, guys, just take a moment just to reflect on this day and the lives that were lost and the families, you know, that their lives were changed forever with this tragedy.
Oh my god, now they have like roast beef. Oh my god, they're cutting into our roast beef. Woo! All right, let's see how this looks, guys. Think they'll like it down at the fire department? Let's see, what do we think? Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you, Carol. My daughter enlisted in the Air Force on 9-11. She spent nearly 12 years in the service. Well, thank your daughter and thank you for raising such a strong woman to serve our country. Thank you. My cousins are now married, but they live in the same. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. I'm trying to think, though, if I want to add anything to this. Just feeling the need to do little loops, I think. Just around the side here. I'm sure it'll be inside the firehouse. I'm sure it's not gonna be outside. Thanks, Rhonda. I appreciate it. Thank you, Vicki. I do have one more of these rolls. Yay! I'm just doing little cheater bows in every other twist tie. So I just wanted something. When I woke this morning, went to the hospital. I remember I was doing at the hospital when I looked at the clock that day. 
right, standing still. Oswald Saint, a group of us to go to our sister house with the help. Okay. Right, Lisa? All the doctors and nurses. Yeah. Doodles is home. Sorry about the barking, but this is how they greet Doodles when he gets home from work. This is their like song to Daddy. <laughs> oh, Dolores, no worries, girl. Are good. All right, let's see what we got going on over here. Clance. Hey, Rose, how are you? Thank you. I appreciate you blessing it. I know. It's the same thing every day when he gets home. He gets the same greeting. And listen, honestly, I wouldn't want it any other way. I'd be sad if I didn't get through it. So I never stop them. Because God forbid it's that one time that someone's breaking into the house and they're afraid to bark to tell me. So I never, never, never stop them from barking. I love cheater bows. I love them, love, love, love. I'm a rib. They're showing on QVC right now. Seriously, people, I'm so hungry. Um, I'm just randomly cutting them. They're, I don't know what size they are. 17 inches, 15, 17 inches. I'm not even measuring, guys. I don't typically measure. In my private group, I will give measurements. But I am a kind of designer that there's no recipe in design. Yes, on some instances, you need to know, you know, how to cut something, how long or something. But really, if you're an inch or two off, it does not matter. You know, if you cut your mesh 22 inches and the recipe calls for, you know, 20 inches, it won't affect your design. Honestly, it really won't affect your design. But let's say it calls for, you know, 35 inches, you know, and you're cutting it 20 inches. Well, then yes, then it may affect it. Other than that, no. All right, what do we think? I like the cheetah bows a lot. This is a nice big one for them. Honey, we're bringing this down to the fire department. I'm going to donate it. It's 9-11. We did a patriotic today. So I'm going to donate it to our fire people. Okay. We'll do it uh, today, tonight, in a little while. Say hi, doodles. Hi. Say hi, honey. Hi. We're in the clubhouse. Hello. Thank you, Michelle. Hello. I appreciate it. Ow. Uh, Daddy's wearing shorts, and your sharp nails are hurting him. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. We're live. You saying hi to everyone? Yeah, I said hi. This is hi. my doodles, guys. So if you've never met my doodles, this is Lou, a.k.a. Doodles. That's what I call him. Mm -hmm. Or Sweet Dittums or something along those lines. Oh, Rady. Where's your mom? Uh, visiting my dad. She's gonna be home soon. I have wings on for her. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So that's that, guys. What do you think? Everyone saying hi, Doodles. Hi, everybody. What do you think, honey? I like it. It's good. I wish it said. I wish the sign said "Land of the Free" because of the brave. I wish it said that, but I didn't have that. 
feel like I need something down here. I have to make something for down there. I feel mm -hmm. like I just feel it. Feel it. Uh, I'll get upstairs for a little bit. All right, baby. Um, where is that other ribbon? Did I put it away already? Do, do, do. I want to put something here. Thanks, Marilyn. Thank you. All right, I think I want to this. No bueno. I want to use this and where is my other ribbon? Oh, here. I want this, this. Let me do this. I'm going to do three ribbons. Okay, all one and a half inch. Let's put stuff back in the doodle caddy so we stay organized. All right, let's get this on. We'll do this. And we'll do this. Uh, Joy, yes. My business has been very good. Can't complain. And I have definitely outgrown my space. Definitely, definitely, definitely. All right. Let's go here. Yeah. I just want to make a sweet little bow for down in this area. I feel like I need something. Okay, thanks, baby. I do have more star ribbon. Okay, I'm just gonna make some some loops. Yeah, I'm just doing a simple bow. Doing three ribbons, three one and a half inch ribbons. And I really want to make this like perfect for them. Oh, thanks, Dolores. I got it done yesterday. No more gray, girl. No more gray. That gray is out. Okay. You know, maybe we'll just stop right there. We'll make this one a little longer. My daughter's name is Maggie. I call her Magadoodles. <laughs> That's funny. He is my doodles. Since we started dating, um, he's had that name. All right. So with my tails in front. My tails are different lengths because... I like things a little wonky donkey. I don't like things matchy matchy. I think it always looks better. 
Okay, I'm not going to take the fluff box out. We'll just fluff normally. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. A little Marvin Gaye reference. All right. Okay. Let's, get that. Let's bring this over here. We're going to cut this off. Hey, Ricky. How are you, girl? Cut that off. Tails. 